Welcome back for another video. Today's video will be about a renegade gang in Fresno, California called the Fresno Bulldogs. By no means am I talking about Fresno State University mascot Bulldogs. I'm talking about the infamous Fresno Bulldogs criminal street gang. The Bulldogs are a Mexican-American street gang in Fresno, and to Fresno, police are the biggest threat to public safety in Fresno. The biggest advantage the Bulldogs have are the numbers. They are deeper than any other gang in Fresno. It all started in the 1970s. Fresno Bulldogs were once on good terms with the Norteños and was referred to as F-14. 14 is the letter N and 14th letter from the alphabet. Independence and Renegade is what was the beginning of Fresno Bulldogs versus everyone else. It wasn't until 1986 the Bulldogs rivalry with Norteños had begun, and Bulldogs adopted the It's Bulldogs versus the World mentality. From the streets to the pen, Bulldogs would not align themselves with Norteños in prison. And this was a big deal because the Bulldogs in prison are enemies to Norteños, Sereños as well as the Peckerwoods, which are white inmates under the Aryan Brotherhood, who has an alliance with the Mexican Mafia. Prison staff in California have stated that the Bulldogs were resistant and not open to any peace with other prison gangs. The Bulldogs have caused riots and chaos in California prisons. For instance, in the summer of 2019, the Bulldogs were responsible for a lot of riots and violence in prison and caused prison staff to hold the idea of putting rival prison gangs on the same yard to coexist. A ruthless Bulldog member in prison was a Bulldog named Robert Phantom Galvin. Robert, also known as Phantom, had been serving four life sentences for robbery and kidnapping. Phantom had robbed and kidnapped a couple in 1999 who went out for a movie and had been robbed and kidnapped by Phantom. However, prison did not stop Phantom from committing more crimes locked up. In 2010, Phantom had murdered his cellmate over an argument with his cellmate. His cellmate had disrespected him, calling him stupid, in which Phantom responded with deadly force, killing his cellmate. While the murder case was pending in 2012, he also got out of his handcuffs, assaulted his counsel, and stabbed a correctional officer. In 2013, he received the death penalty. It is more likely he and other death row inmates will die of natural causes unless they take their own life in prison, as California Governor Gavin Newsom had signed an executive order to impose a moratorium for the death penalty in California. On July 31, 2006, Fresno police officer Brian Nieto was on regular patrol as always with his partner when they attempted to conduct a traffic stop on a Bulldog gang member that fired shots at Officer Nieto, who was seriously wounded. His partner fired back at the Bulldog gang member, who fled the scene. Officer Nieto had to undergo serious surgery and was forced to retire from Fresno police due to his injuries. The Bulldog gang member and shooter, Joaquin Maltos Figueroa, was wanted for the shooting and a manhunt was underway. Joaquin Figueroa had been shot and killed by Fresno police on August 3, 2006, after he tried to avoid capture and ignored officers' commands to freeze and show his hands. Fresno PD said Joaquin did not have a gun on him, however they believed the shooting was justified, as Joaquin was classified to be armed and dangerous and would not comply with orders by police. On February 3, 2013, Omar and his family hosted a Super Bowl watch party at their home in Fresno. Shortly after the football game ended, Omar's wife, Sandra Silva, and their 14-year-old daughter heard their dog barking while they were in the master bedroom. Sandra looked through the window and saw defendant and Anthony Coronado attacking Omar's brother, Arnold Silva, in the middle of the street. Sandra alerted Omar and party guest, Jabin Lujan, the two men ran outside and broke up the fight. David, who had both a letter B tattoo and a scratch on his face, repeatedly said, Bond Street, and either I'll be back or we'll be back. Approximately an hour and a half later, the daughter answered a knock on the front door. She encountered David, who asked, Where is the guy that I was fighting with? From the master bedroom, Omar asked the girl, Who are you talking to? She replied, It's that guy. Omar approached the door and said, what's up? David then fired multiple shots. 
Omar was struck three times in the abdomen. Law enforcement arrived at the Silver residence at or around 9.40 p.m. Omar, who was coherent, told officers that the assailant was a member of the Bond Street Bulldogs and gave a physical description that matched David. Omar was transported to Community Regional Medical Center. Prior to surgery, he informed the medical staff that he did not want a blood transfusion, likely due to his religious beliefs. Doctors, the trauma surgeon, performed the operation. They observed two holes in the interior vena cava, the result of a single through-and-through -through bullet. They could not suture these holes because of heavy bleeding in the area and had to ligate the entire vena cava to stop the bleeding. By the end of the procedure, Omar was acidotic. He lost about 80% of his blood volume and his hemoglobin level dropped from 10 or above to 3. Thereafter, he died. David admitted being a Bond Street Bulldog member. It was believed when Omar broke up the fight between David and Arnold, he disrespected David and the gang. If David did not retaliate against Omar, especially after saying Bond Street and I'll be back, he and the gang would appear weak and vulnerable. David Adam Caveda from Bond Street Bulldogs was convicted of first-degree murder and sentenced to life without the possibility of parole. On October 30th, 2015, around 3 p.m., Christian Pacheco spotted a Sardinos gang member near an elementary school. Juan Ortiz was with his fiance, accompanied by their five-year-old daughter, and were walking toward the school to meet their son's school bus and walk him home. Christian, a member of the Sardinos gang, approached Ortiz and asked him, Hey fool, you bang. Ortiz was a member of the Bulldogs, a rival gang. He responded to Christian's challenge with, Yeah, Northside, tell my bulldogs. Christian then pulled a gun from his shorts and shot Ortiz seven times. Ortiz subsequently died in the hospital. His cause of death was a bullet wound to the head. After shooting Ortiz, Christian ran. As he fled, he wrapped a shirt around the gun to cover it. Defendant ran into a nearby apartment complex, which was claimed as Sereño's territory. Police spotted defendant and detained him in the apartment complex in the company of a fellow gang member. A number of witnesses had seen defendant shoot Ortiz or run from the scene. After defendant was detained, he was identified in field show-ups by the victim's fiancé and several other witnesses. Christian had attempted to hide the gun by stashing it, still wrapped in the shirt, in the wheel well of a van parked in the apartment complex. When a driver, unaware of the gun, drove the van from the complex's parking lot, the gun dropped to the street while the shirt remained stuck in the van. Police recovered the gun. Christian was a member of the Sereños gang, and specifically the Barrio Selma local subset. Christian was sentenced to 15 years to life for the murder, enhanced by 25 years to life for the firearm enhancement. On December 18th, 2021, Angel Cortez Flores was stabbed to death at Olive and Palm. He was rushed to the Community Regional Medical Center where he died. Flores was homeless at the time and lived in a camp in the area where he was found dead by police. Surveillance footage helped police identify and arrest the suspect, Jesse Gonzalez, a Fresno Bulldog gang member in a random act of violence with no motive. The Fresno Bulldogs continue to be a menace in Fresno today, making headlines for everything you can think of a criminal enterprise and showing no signs of ever stopping or giving up their ruthless ways they have displayed and intend to live up to their reputation they have infamously earned in Fresno.